Hey there, health coach. So today I wanna to talk about the one thing that pretty much all marketing experts agree on when it comes to marketing your health coaching practice, or really any business for that matter. So I talk to a lot of new health coaches who are really excited about launching their websites or getting consistent with their social media posts, but I almost never hear them mention what I believe to be the number one marketing activity, and that is email marketing. So it's really the one thing I hear consistently from all the marketing experts out there, that email marketing should be your top priority when it comes to communicating with your audience, and it's really the foundation of all the other marketing tactics you can use. So first off, I will say that I'm no marketing expert, but I've taken a lot of online marketing courses and I follow a lot of marketing experts, and this is really the one thing they all agree on. Email marketing has definitely stood the test of time, and today I want to explore why having an email list is not just a good marketing strategy, but it's an essential element for health coaches who want to build and nurture ongoing relationships with potential clients. So the main reason why email marketing is preferred over social media is that with social media, you can post and hope to get in front of your ideal clients, but if that platform goes down, you have no direct way to communicate with your audience because you don't own those connections. Those are just followers. They have followed you, but there's no guarantee that they're going to see your post. So it's not very proactive. It's a more passive way of marketing. But when someone has given you their email address and they've opted in to be on your email list, then you've received permission to communicate with them. You have a direct way of getting in front of them by sending them an email. For me, I would say that 99.9% .9 of my actual sales come through my email correspondence with my audience. So for those of you wondering about what your first step should be when it comes to marketing, I personally believe that it should be building your email list. So let's take a look at three benefits of email marketing. The first one, as I've already sort of touched on, is related to direct and personalized communication. So emails provide a direct and more personalized channel of communicating between us and our ideal clients. Like I said, we can directly communicate with them and show up in their inboxes. We can also do things like personalize our emails using the person's first name. So it feels like we're writing and speaking directly to them, which is different from a generic social media post or an ad. Through email, we can also tailor our messages a little bit better by segmenting our lists and making sure that our emails are really targeted to the right people, as opposed to just a blanket message to all of our followers on social media. And this targeted approach really ensures that our marketing efforts are focused on those who genuinely are interested in our offerings, and that's gonna definitely result in a higher conversion rate. So the second reason or benefit is around establishing trust and credibility. So building trust is really important in the health and wellness space, and email allows us to consistently share valuable content with our audiences. Even though attention spans these days are generally shorter, email allows us the space to share information, to share success stories, and help our readers understand our approach and our insights. So if you're consistent with your emails and you deliver high quality content, you can establish yourself as a credible resource and build trust. So the third benefit is around nurturing those long-term relationships. So I do have a background in public relations and communications, and I've learned that building that know, like, and trust factor comes from nurturing relationships over time. It's not a one and done thing. If someone comes to you as a cold contact, well, you have to warm them up over time. And that means consistently communicating with them, 
sharing quality content over time when that trust builds, they will feel more confident and comfortable purchasing from you. So I've had people who joined my list very early on when I started it, and they might have not purchased from me until a few years later, but they knew I was there and knew I was consistent. And finally, a few years later, they had that trust to say, yes, I'm ready to work with her. So I hope you can see that some of the benefits of email marketing include that it's great for direct and personalized communication, it's great for building trust and credibility, and for nurturing those long-term relationships. All of these things are essential in converting potential clients into paying clients. Now let's take a look at some ways that you can start to build your email list. First of all, you do need to decide on an email service provider, or what we call an ESP. I highly recommend using an ESP like MailChimp, ConvertKit, Constant Contact, there's lots of them out there, as opposed to just sending emails to your list through Gmail or Yahoo. Uh, there are tons of benefits, but the top ones are really around compliance with regulations for things like privacy and consent, data protection, ensuring that opt-ins and those unsubscribe links are there. Other benefits of using an ESP are that you can customize a brand domain to ensure that your emails are looking polished and trustworthy. Chances are that deliverability rates will be higher if you're using an email service provider versus Gmail. Also, you can manage your list better by segmenting it and targeting your emails. ESPs also offer great automation tools that you can streamline and automatically send things like email series, which is gonna send you a ton of time. Plus, they have great professionally designed email templates and easy to use design tools that make things visually appealing and to ensure that consistent brand aesthetic. So you've set up your ESP, you've got that all ready to go. The next thing to think about is how are you going to get new people onto your email list? Well, the first way I recommend is to simply send an email to your current contact list, all the people in your network, and ask if they want to follow along your health coaching journey, if they want to join your health coaching email list, and then you'd provide a link for them to opt into your email list. Then the number one way to build an email list is to develop some sort of freebie or lead magnet. This is typically some sort of download or free piece of content like a recipe book, a tip list, a checklist, a workbook, something that you're going to give someone in exchange for their email address. Then you share a link to that freebie everywhere you possibly can. Free options would be to paste it into your email address, into your email signature, share it on social media, on your business pages, in groups. And then if you have a bit of a marketing budget, you might also want to run paid ads to that freebie. And then of course, you'll have to start communicating regularly to your list once you have that built. At minimum, you want to start with at least one email per week, and then you can build it from there. So to wrap up today, I just want to recap by saying that in the world of health coaching, and building and maintaining an email list is really one of the best ways to market yourself and build and maintain a successful coaching business. The benefits include direct and personalized communication, building trust and credibility, and nurturing long-term relationships. I do recommend by inviting all of your current contacts to join your email list and then develop a freebie or a lead magnet to start building your list. And then of course, being consistent with your emails to that list. I hope that's been helpful for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. I would love to hear your thoughts on email marketing. And if you have any questions at all, I'd love to answer those in the comments for you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye for now.